Mruto amefichua mipango ya kufanya mazungumzo na mkurugenzi mtendaji wa TikTok show Zichu kuhusu mipango ya kupunguza maudhui hasi kwenye mtandao wa kijamii wa TikTok na kuzidisha kipengele cha uchumaji wa mapato ini baada ya ombi lililowasilishwa bungeni la kutaka kupigwa marufuku kwa TikTok nchini Kenya tupate mengi zaidi kutoka kwa Grace Kuria Kanja Kenya inatawala ulimwengu katika matumizi ya TikTok. Hayo si maneno yangu lakini ni kulingana na utafiti wa taasisi ya Reuters Digital News ya mwaka 2023 iliyotolewa hivi karibuni. TikTok imekuwa chanzo cha riziki kwa vijana wengi wa Kenya na miongoni mwao ni I am Kabugi. Jukwa hilo limevutia usikivu wa rais ambaye Jumatano amevunja ukimia wake huku shinikizo la kupigwa marufuku kwa TikTok likitamba. I was looking at one of the best paying um, content creator is now at 7 million shillings every month. I've been able to make money from endorsements and a number of lives as well. Yeah, so TikTok has been has been a great deal to me and as a public figure you know numbers are very important. Every month Kenya is getting between 300 million and 500 million every month from these platforms. Wiki chache zilizopita kulikuwa na wito wa kupigwa marufuku kwa TikTok na mlalamishi Bob Ndolo ambaye aliwasilisha ombi hilo bungeni akitaka utangazaji wa maudhui ya wazi na nyenzo zinazotukuza vurugu kwa sababu kuu ya kuipiga marufuku. Tomorrow morning we are having that conversation with the global um, CEO of TikTok so that we can agree on a mechanism to moderate content in their space so that we can reduce the content that is negative and leverage on the monetization that is benefiting a lot more people. You've already created numbers from doing the negative content or from doing the immoral content. It's high time you convert that to being entertainment, to being educative. Ruto amefichua zaidi kuwa alikuwa na gumzo na wamiliki wengine wa mitandao mbalimbali ya kijamii. YouTube For example, we now are, we are now at 80% uh, monetization. We are one of the four countries in the African continent that we can now monetize our content in YouTube. Twitter has also agreed among the first countries in Kenya to also monetize our content. Waziri wa ICT Eliudowalo mwezi uliopita alitangaza kuwa kuna mipango ya kudhibiti tovuti hiyo ya usambazaji wa video hasa wakati wa usiku akisema anafahamu kila ya aina ya uvunjaji wa sheria unaofanyika nyakati za usiku sana. Grace Kuria Kanja TV 47